come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Damn, this... we went all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> I like it. I like it. But I like that we were first. Well, let there be light. We're in a dank, dark basement. That's true. Uh, Oh, they, I mean, right. there was light at one Let point. We didn't say there was anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for listening. Uh, and uh, we hope you enjoy the show. We do it every week. If there was light, there was also darkness. That's so right. while some yeah. people may. It's a very Batman type quote. Yep. <laughs> True. Like, well, some people may occupy the darkness. Oh, it's we legend. Occupy, we occupy the dark. There could not be. Light without darkness. Mm. Legend. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, then we live in the darkness. Well, we should. We were born in it. <laughs> Molded by it. <laughs> Molded by it. <laughs> well, we should introduce ourselves. Man. That's an evergreen pop culture reference, right? Yeah, it's gotta <laughs> be. Because of the voice, it feels like it should be. Or did we just give our collective ages away by even <laughs> referencing that at this point? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> these are the internet radio superstars. Holly, Michaela, Sean, and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Sean. What did we watch tonight? Uh, we went to the doctor tonight, and we <clears throat> saw Doctor Giggles. Doctor Giggles from the year 1992, directed by uh, Kodo. What, what was Manny, Kodo. Manny Kodo. Manny Kodo. Do we know this Manny? Kodo? I know him, and just by looking at it tonight, he also directed the 1997 movie Star Kid. Oh, oh which shit. was a big Star fucking. Kid. Which you say that yeah, yeah. I watched Star Kid a fucking Are you lot. Serious? Oh yeah, it really? was like it was like the PG version of um, the Giver because mm-hmm. there was a whole there was a whole suit and it was an alien thing, but the kid got inside it at one point. Like I I, I th- remember this, movie, and this is yeah. all coming back to me as of like. 20 minutes ago. And I remembered this movie. Star Kid. Star Kid. Wow. This Unlocked is going to be a Saturday Night Freak it really Show really was. But he did that. Um, I mean, he wrote that as well. He did a few things. Uh, uh, again, he directed Xenon, the sequel, a TV movie. Mm-hmm. Disney Channel original. Right. A sequel yeah. to Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century. Yes. That's what it was called. <laughs> yes. And that, that's because that show was in the 20th century when it came out. So right, it sounded yeah. futuristic. Yeah. So it doesn't it so much that. anymore, but... So, I mean, but he also, I mean, he did a lot of uh, TV shows, Star Trek. Um, oh, the Playboy Morning Show. He played himself on that. Well, it's kind of the self titles. Dexter, yeah. right? Uh, Dexter. Dexter, Outer yeah. Limits. Hitch. He started off in Hitchcock Presents in 1988. Some version of that. Mm, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So, but Dexter, he wrote like a bunch of them, right? Yeah. Like he wasn't the. Was what, he on what the era of Dexter? Did he write? Well, Do we know? Up right now. Uh, <laughs> he also, yeah, I mean, he did Tales from the Crypt, so he's been in these. Uh, Tales from the Crypt, Dead at 21, The Outer Limits in 95, Hustle on 10, Star Kid. Strange World, Odyssey 5, Star Trek Enterprise, he wrote on for a couple years. Uh, 24 as well, Dexter. Yeah, 24. Um, 10 episodes from 2006 to 2013. Oh, okay. So so oh, so not, thing, a, yeah. not a whole no. season. Yeah. Then. Early okay. Dexter, okay. randomly throughout there. Twenty, A lot of 24 stuff. Uh, the Exorcist TV series from 2016 to 2018. Regina Davis. Uh, next, from 2020 to 2020. Yep. So he created that. Didn't last too long. And American Horror Story Wait, he ended up in. Next, the MTV show? I think so. The MTV dating no, show? No, no, no. no this no, is no, something no, else. Not that one. This is with uh, this is with uh, is this John Stephen Slattery. Lang? John Slattery. John, it looks, oh, like, it looks oh, like Stephen Lang. It looks like Stephen Lang. It's okay. John Slattery. Yeah. 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 I'm like, I'm like, I'm like oh, that was Stephen Lang. It like does, he had the future also, glasses like, on. But let's substitute that, John. That doesn't look like yes. John Slattery. No, let's substitute oh, John wow. Slattery in <laughs> well, yeah. Stephen Lang movies. Like I mentioned, John Slattery in Don't Breathe. Breathe? Yeah, 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 give me that. Oh, interesting turn from Mad Men. (laughs) Wow, so Manny Cotto has gotten around over the years. This this was uh, (laughs) like, this is before or after Star Kid. Had he already proven his directorial It was five years difference. 92 was this, 97 was Star Kid. Oh, wow, okay. So he's proven himself with uh, uh, Dr. Giggles. Yeah, I mean, if nothing else, for writing and directing for TV shows over the years. So okay, so I saw there. a credit at the beginning of this movie. Indeed. Uh, a Dark Horse production. Dark Horse Comics. This was a co-production between them and, oh, I forgot, that, Largo. Largo Entertainment. Um, they had a, a an agreement to do, and I think this was the first movie to come out of that. Was it? I think so. I'm not entirely sure. I won't say that. Don't quote me on that. But. Because if I remember, like, Dark Horse Comics kind of came out of nowhere by, like, they would buy licenses to mm. movie stuff like they were the alien versus predator 
And I think they did RoboCop Terminator. I could be wrong. But, like, they would buy movie licenses and make these things. And then I think at some point, you know, they were like, you know what we should do? We should make our own movie uh, comics then that would be boobies so but i'm trying to remember because i know virus i think which we did on this show with jamie lee curtis yeah. and the yes, killer robot <laughs> was a dark horse dark comics horse, movie yep. the famous one is the mask that was a dark horse <laughs> comic mm-hmm. that they made into a movie um God but i'm like him. was dr giggles a comic that was made into a movie or did they like make the comic because there was a movie. I think they made a comic because there was a movie. Uh, I don't know the official on that, but I haven't seen anything about the comic before this movie. So right, I'm not. I'm heard guessing of, yeah. comic came out of this movie. Yeah, but that happens a lot. I'm like, I'm not familiar enough. You know that sometimes you see these movies that are based on comics, and it's like I don't remember seeing something at the beginning of this that said it was based on. A yeah, no, I think comic. that no, this is this movie and then comic. Okay, came all right. So that. there's a comic series somewhere. Doctor Giggles. Uh, who's in gig- the movie? Ah, Larry Drake, who you should know from uh, uh, Darkman fame. L.A. Law. And, yes. and Darkman 2 fame oh. and L.A. Law. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he's a... Uh, uh, he's a recognizable actor. Yeah, like, yeah, he's got one of those faces. Oh, I know yeah. that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, he was like a mentally challenged character on L.A. Law. Am I correct? Ooh. I'm trying to remember. I wonder how that holds up. Well, yeah, but, he, but he got Probably like not. that was, but that I think like was how Larry Drake because he has like a, a face. I don't know that, that's interesting because I remember him. He has a face of a mentally handicapped man. Is that he would play that like mm-hmm. I, I one believe of the he best, could do it and pull it off. Well. Yeah, one of the best things I've ever seen him in is a, it's a movie called Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. It was a TV movie. Uh, I've had that really on my list for a long creepy. time because yeah. I always it always it. pops up. People always start talking about it around Halloween. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. it's like a cla- it's a TV movie. So I don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. we've done two TV movies on the show before, but sure you know, maybe we should bring Dark remember, Knight of the remember Scarecrow. Remember there was a time, time where we were just like no. No TV movies. <laughs> Nothing this straight to Netflix. None of this shit. That was the pre-COVID era. Yeah. <laughs> well, I it's think like we're all stuck at home. We must watch these movies. But there were some weird ones in there too. Like I'm pretty sure Strays was like a TV movie technique. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like yeah, stuff right. like Strays that, was, you know. Yeah, yeah. For, made for USA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. definitely. But that was worth a watch. But I think Larry Drake at some point, so yeah, was Darkman the one that like, I mean, I thought like, you know, I mean, he was always playing, you know, those type of characters and then it was like, okay, then he's going to be the villain in Darkman. Mm. Mm-hmm. And it seems to me that like the next step then was Dr. Giggles because Darkman was like 90, 90. I think it was right? 90. Yeah. I it was 90. And then Dr. Giggles. Coming right off of Batman. Did he do something like what are we thinking of Larry oh, Drake uh, wait, after? Wait, hold on, I'll look at Larry Drake real quick because I'm looking him up I mean, now. these are the movies it. like yeah. I mean, now in my mind it's like Dark Man and yeah. Dr. Giggles right. is, is Larry Drake. Like those, those yes. are the movies that but I've seen him but he's come up in some other stuff which is like, "Oh yeah, he just shows up randomly after that." Yeah, and like, like dramatic parts or something and he died, I want to say like Pretty a recently. year or two ago, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh in 2016. Oh, okay. Oh, geez, okay. He was only right, but he's only 66. He's young. <laughs> yeah, but Colin said a year or two and that was a seven year years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, you know, the whole COVID thing. I don't know. I'm getting <laughs> old. I mean, time just seems contracted or <laughs> something. Yep. Um so Larry Drake is in the movie playing a crazy doctor named Dr. Giggles. Why is he called Dr. Giggles? Because he giggles? He does. And I'm not going to lie, I laughed every time he giggled, I think. Because he does it <laughs> such a... Just, it's like a... It's, it's a good a, creepy giggle. Yeah. yeah. And it's not of his... What he looks like as a person. Yeah. That he would just... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he does better than that. He does yeah. better, yeah. yeah. No, he's far It's like a nervous him. titter. Yeah. A nervous titter. There you go. <laughs> Copyright 2023 20, Show. Nervous it's very titter. Clownish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it it is, but without the effort of a clown, because clowns are always trying. It feels like these are my thoughts on clowns. He would be a really scary clown in the he movie. Would be though. Really scary shit. without yeah. being a clown. I mean, they were yeah. Like, so I add a clown to him, and it's even worse. <laughs> I was yeah. like, they worse. were yeah. they were kind of halfway there. Most yeah. of the movies at a carnival. Yeah, exactly. Like, very, oh, yeah. very close. Did not expect this movie to be set at a carnival yeah. at all. No, you don't no. think that it's going to be. This movie, I don't know, like, it keeps coming up on, like, people request it. Um, it seems like it's very, um, like, popular, you know, mm-hmm. like, people know yeah. about this movie. 
And I'm always and think, like, you know, why? I, I guess I just don't get it, you know? I always wonder why, too. This is why it's been, because I've uh, Dr. Eels has been a, a thing that's been on, I mean, my radar for, like, years. Yeah. I've always known it was a thing. Yeah. I always knew Larry Drake was in it. Just never watched it. Oh, yeah. Well, was this, I feel like this was, like, a USA Up All Night movie. That's what yeah. it should be. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm wondering because I know that just like title and acting. I, I just everything about. I always yeah. remember seeing that video art too at the at the video rental store. Yeah. Yeah. Always that VHS tape was in the poster was always out there. Yeah, but it seems like somehow it you know crossed over. The marketing really worked mm-hmm. on this movie mm-hmm. where it's like a uh, movie. I mean, what I don't know what it has. Okay, really... it has some memorable scenes. We'll get into them as we come up okay, to them. I'm but by you that you mean it's entertaining but... from front to back. I, 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 uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Well. Okay, all right. So, um, <laughs> who else do we have in the cast? Do we got anybody notable? Uh, Holly notable? Marie Combs. Oh my God, who she's is- in it. She, who you would know from Charmed, which Colin got about halfway mm-hmm. through the movie. Yeah, I'm like, oh, she's the girl from Charmed. Right, but then again, we also realized that you guys watch Buffy and you're losers. <laughs> right, so. but that's because that's why we recognize Glenn Quaid. <laughs> yeah, she was also in Quinn. Pretty Little Sorry. Liars too. Was she? Yeah, yeah was she, she was one of the moms. Uh, yeah, that makes yeah. Sense. that's, that's a good she's still out there working. Yep, mm-hmm. it makes sense. Yeah, yeah what's good. her character's name? Jennifer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then Gwen. Yeah. Glenn no, Quaid. Glenn Quinn. Sorry. Yes. The Irish guy from uh, uh, Angel, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. is sure. in this, and he hasn't been in anything else because he died at oh. a young age. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? He is was in only it? in what the first season of Angel. Yeah, because yeah. I think he had drug problems. And I, he I think he fired him. Uh, yeah, yeah. He died of an oh, so Angel, Angel, like. Yeah. Dave Boreanaz Angel. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was saying you kept saying that. Oh, you're thinking Angel about the, the Hooker movie. movie? Yeah, yeah, because that is what. <laughs> <laughs> Very because, different movie. because if Colin's going to yell out Angel, that's what I'm going to oh, think he's talking gotcha. about. Okay, not yeah. Angel, Angel. That's why there was so many like Buffy references because it's yep. the crossover. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. understandable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they all yeah. formed a private detective agency. <laughs> no, I remember right? this. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and he was on the first season. Okay, but mm-hmm. they wrote him out. I remember of that show. Because and he died not long after that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's they fired sad. fired him. Um, who else is in the movie? We got two people going on the Saturday Night Freak fish. Show Wall of Fame. For, well, that's right. Nancy Fish Nancy is in fish. this. She's not going on the Wall of Fame. Sean just said fish. Because yeah. <laughs> well, I knew Colin would pick me up from that. I was like, uh, I don't think Fish did the soundtrack. No, but, no. but Nancy Fish, who if you know the actress and you you know, you know Google her and see her, like, you know Nancy Fish. Yeah. She shows up as this character, I think, in most of the stuff she's yeah, in. Yeah, because I always see her as a nurse in uh, yeah. The Exorcist 3. Yes. You know, as a, um, Clifty Young. Is in this movie as Jennifer's dad. That name sounds familiar. And MF Mad the Keeper of the Saturday <laughs> Is that a Night sequel Freak to Jennifer's show. body? <laughs> Should be. Jennifer's, Jennifer's dad. dad. Ew. <laughs> just, no, you're right. It doesn't sound <laughs> oh, right, does yeah. it? <laughs> well, MF Mad the Keeper of the Saturday Night Freak uh, Show Wall of Fame wants us to wants to let us know that we have seen Cliff DeYoung. Young. I mean, he does have a face. You're like, oh, I've seen that guy before. Yeah. But he was in the Flight of the Navigator, which we did on okay. the show, mm-hmm. Makes sense. and he was also in the Craft. Oh. He's the dad in the crowd. He's the dad oh. in the crowd. Yeah, that's why I know him. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Was he the dad in the... In this. Yeah, yeah dad. 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 Yeah, I was going to say, he seemed familiar. Yeah. So, we, were, we were relegating all these actors yeah. to Yeah, he's different... Robin Tunney's dad in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Ro- okay, yeah. that makes more sense. Mm-hmm. And uh, her dad is having a new... Well, well his, he has a new girlfriend. Yeah, he has a new girlfriend, <laughs> and that's Michelle Johnson. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. And she is like on Winona the Ray. Saturday Night Freak mm-hmm. Show Wall of Fame Ooh, because she was also in Dr. Giggles Waxwork. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. Oh, yeah. we're talking about that. And Death Becomes Her. Oh, okay, but I okay. want to say Michelle Johnson is like maybe famous. Was she? I don't think she was in. Was she in there? Like Valley Girl or some one of those. Mm. I don't know. Older I don't know. Yeah. 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 Not familiar. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's on the wall. So there we go. Uh, Dougie Doug is in this Dougie movie. Dougie Doug is in yeah. this movie. <laughs> That's right. Everybody's trying him. to break out from television. Mm-hmm. Dougie Doug was stuck on the Cosby show. And where do you <laughs> go if you're trying to break out from television? Horror movies. Horror movies. Mm-hmm. That's right. So Dougie Doug is in the movie. Are we missing anybody else? Like, yeah. It, it, it is. You, it is. This it is, is a natural segue. Like, I'm in a TV show. I want to be, you know, yeah. made famous to a broader mm-hmm. community. The horror See every the CW actor ever. Yeah, right. Yes, exactly. Every single one of them. Yeah. That is their career. Well, that is. When yeah. we're watching this, I realized, like, they still do this. Yeah. Or they they started doing this. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. the hot young actors from TV shows and shit. Mm-hmm. It was the Scream these. era when it was like, if you were on a hot TV show, we yep. made a movie mm-hmm. with you. I yeah. think oh, for yeah. years, 
I mean, it was always, you know, actors who were in television shows wanted to really wanted to be in movies. Sure. Like, yeah, like television was theater. Uh, <laughs> Theater's like, oh, yeah. then theater, you're act no, theater's too hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're just like, well, let's go to movies. You want people to actually see you. And yeah. I think the thing was like television was kind of ephemeral, right? Mm-hmm. It would air once or twice and it would be gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But TV movies would be eternal. You know, they're always you always be in a movie. Always. I mean now who watches the Cosby show? But damn it, Dougie Doug is going to live forever. <laughs> in, in my Dr. heart. Giggles. Yep. In my heart. Yep. And then well, you think oh. you're in a movie and people see you, and then you're going to have a big Hollywood career as a leading man in a bunch of movies. And, you know, look but at then all you those Game of Thrones people. Dr. Right? Giggles. Yeah. And that's not going to happen. <laughs> so, Sorry, Dougie Doug. Yeah. Uh, well, many television actors, unfortunately. True. Yeah. He's not the only one. It doesn't pan out. Unless you're. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> George Clooney. Exactly. <laughs> well, George oh, Clooney is right, right. a superstar. All right, you found the one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, wasn't DiCaprio in Growing Pains, right? <laughs> it was in. He was. Yeah. He yeah. Was. yeah. yeah but, I was like, we could play that game for a while. Critters 3. That's right. <laughs> um, okay, so all what? Right. Uh, so we got uh, this, the movie. We got the movie. <laughs> Dr. Giggles. And it's, it's, it's about a giggling die. doctor. <laughs> okay, but it can't be just about a doctor who giggles. It's a horror movie. Right. So uh tell us a little bit about like why what are we what are we what are we looking what at? Are we what are we getting into? We're getting into uh 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 How it does is, it open? It oh I mean it yeah. opens with a surgery. I mean we end up getting a uh a mental patient escaping from a hospital, which okay. is uh, classic. The, a classic, the impetus for a mm-hmm. lot of these movies. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, but we start out with uh, a narration of a sur- of a heart surgery, and not only that, but also a nineteen ninety two a 90s era CG opening oh, of blood cells moving through veins. Oh, yeah, and the whole, heart whole credit and sequence. A whole credit sequence, which it's beautiful. I liked. <laughs> it it is, looks horrible. It, it, it's, obvious, it's from 1992. It's charming. Especially, it's, okay, there you go. Charming. It's charming. But like the, I was okay with the blood and the blood cells until we got to the blood coming out of like the flesh part at the end of the title sequence. Okay. That was when it really got... I was like, ooh, bad. yeah, I remember really PlayStation. Bad, yeah. yeah, it is. Like, not oh, even PlayStation it reminded 2. me of, I have this game that I play on the Switch that I think is originally from, like, the original PlayStation. It's called Surgery Simulator. Okay, <laughs> I've played that, and, and it, that is a fucked up is, game. But isn't that what the gra- graphics look like? Yeah, you it, can, yes. yes. And you can never grab it is a the, fucked up the game. chest saw. Because, yes. Right, this, uh, you're, you're trying <laughs> to mechanically move two arms to, to perform, perform surgery, surgery with the controllers but it's also like but the hand it's like it's like there's no bones in the hands <laughs> yeah exactly. and, they're and, loose hands trying to pick up a bone wait, saw it, and you have like no fine motor skills no, whatsoever do you remember the movie house guest with sinbad and phil hartman it's been a long time yeah. since i've seen where that. sinbad like puts his hands in novocaine oh no yes yeah. yeah. the novocaine yeah. scene yes, yes. Okay. that's and what i'm like, picturing okay oh, but oh shit i haven't seen that in forever <laughs> the thing is like if you move your joystick just a little bit too hard then your character will like thrust their arm forward yeah, and then you're carving and, through ribs like and shit. i i tried to do the eye eye replacement did you try to do the eyeball no one? Yeah. my 11 year old son gave up on the uh, <laughs> yeah. heart the heart surgery? transplant because it was too hard. Have, have you done the ones where you're on the moving gurney? You have to perform no. surgery on the moving gurney. That's that's just, a- okay, <laughs> but the, the physics of this game are all fucked up. They're, so yeah, that if good. you like, if you try and like scalp out this eyeball, you will stab yeah. through the back of their skull and then pull it out, and then like the the eye will go bouncing around the room, and then it's like you failed, and it's, so it's like comical. This to is play. what games are now. Again. Yes, <laughs> and that, but that's the graphics, especially in this so, opening, look a lot they, like yeah, surgery simulator. Similar, yeah. Some sick fuck was like, "How can we make operation really sick?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because you can is, drop yeah. organs on the floor and what, shit. So what's the rating on this game? Is it E for everyone? I mean, I mean, M for it's, mature. It's, it's, well, I don't think it's M for. I think <laughs> I it is M for mature, which gave me pause. <laughs> Let me check. And then we played the game. We're just like, uh, okay. oh, this is yeah. very this gory. Is, yeah. yeah. Well, not only that, but it's also very like very kiddish. But the graphics are doing. so just like childish. It's hard to take it seriously. You yeah, know? it's it's a weird game. But that's yeah. this movie. Right, because this is a uh, slasher movie. It's We're a gonna slasher say movie. It's a slasher movie. It's a slasher movie with a doctor who loves to give one-liners before he's killed. Just like Freddy Krueger. Just like a it's lot the of them. Okay. Because exactly. we still haven't brought like uh, the trickster from Brain Scan to the show. At some point, that's going to have to make it up because I think it was the same era. So this is basically like, okay, we had your hardcore horror movies of the 70s yep. and we moved into the slasher movies of the 80s. And then yep. Freddy Krueger started the cracking jokes. And so. Well, now we got to be funny. Now we got to be funny. And now we have Dr. Giggles. So yeah. this okay, is but like. If you have a movie with a psycho patient that thinks he's a doctor and giggles you have to have one do- one-liner doctor yep. jokes I, you yeah, have to okay, yeah. but you have I think so. I agree. jokes 
Yes. They are. It's just yes. basically he goes around saying he's no. He's saying the the the, the straight doctor stuff. All the doctor in stuff sim, in yeah. funny situations. Yeah. Yes. So I guess it's a joke. Is it a one line? I mean, I suppose. This is Colin learning comedy again. <laughs> yeah, we they revisit, are. I know because I was like, we this, this is, once in a while. Yeah, this oh, this the is doctor this is, is meant in. to say something straight. Don't forget that comes off as comedy. Yeah. Exactly, Colin. It's, yeah. Colin. Colin's like, no, oh. no, 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 but the, no. no. It's, <laughs> Wasn't working at all. Oh, no. no. I giggled. Okay. I, 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 I was thought all some for. of them were funny. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I was all for, like, these are serious things you say, but then you say that when you're, you know. The funny context. Yeah. Of, yeah. Cutting some someone open funny. with a saw. It's Some of it's very funny, I think. Colin's just like, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Oh, nah, damn. Nah, it nah, didn't work. Okay. Oh, no, not for me. I'm so sad. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, so Colin's horror movies aren't silly, though. Colin I like, like some silly Colin horror movies. Like we silly. watched the, the Return of the Living Dead was a silly horror movie and a lot of funny stuff in it. I thought that was funny. Yeah. And clever. I, I don't know. All right. So well, this, maybe this movie just needed a dancing naked woman. The I mean, whole time, that would have been most it beat him. <laughs> that uh, Yeah. And, uh, I'm like, that's a major difference between Return of the Living Dead and most other movies. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> well. Uh, yeah, that's right, because this came from the 90s when you're not going to get dancing naked women nope. in the 90s. No. You know, no uh, we can no. see how quickly that window closed between no. Return of the Living Dead yeah. and this 91 movie. 91 was probably the last year you could probably do that, just because yep. of the cultural seepage mm-hmm. from the 80s to the 90s. Yeah, Those but early 90s like sexy thrillers were still happening, yeah. but they were yeah. going to start dying like, out. Oh, yeah. no. So what maybe year, that's it. They take, what year like, was Showgirls? 95. <laughs> Okay. Was it 95? Mm-hmm. Well, they were going like, we're going to see what an NC-17 rated mm-hmm. movie is. It really was like. Paul Verhoeven. Always, he's always yeah. like, pushing well, buttons. You know? have, I mean, it's a slasher movie, so you're still going to have horny teens. Of course. Mm-hmm. I guess. I mean, there's a lot of I really didn't know. weird... I, coming into this movie, I didn't know we would get a horny teen movie. I had no idea where it's we were going to go. It's a slasher movie. It is, but I but in nothing I had known about this movie before. I, I knew there was a doctor, Larry Drake, called Dr. Giggles. Yeah. I didn't know who he would be going after, because this could be an adult movie with just adults that are getting um, decimated. Who would by go Dr. see Giggles. that? Uh, not teenagers, yeah. which is why teenagers are in this movie. Howard right. Mary Combs and whatnot. Okay, so I guess uh, we need to know like who he is and his backstory and his victims. He is the son. Larry Drake is the son of a, I think, infamous doctor who uh, carried out some not so great deeds back in the day. Is yeah, that what he's known for. And then as a child, he escaped as his father was being. Stone in, in the street. Stone, he was stone in the street, right? Okay. Yeah, because I think it has the Freddy Krueger story, right? Where like he was ah, he was yes. killing people and cutting out their hearts, yes. right? Because his wife had died of a right. Heart. There is that moment where yeah, she was both dead, right? Yeah, she yeah. was dead. She yeah. was dead. Okay. Yeah. Didn't they say something like she died of a broken heart or something? Yeah, like that's, that. what yeah. Oh, okay. no. that's what he was saying. That's what he was saying. Star Wars. Yeah. And so we don't see this, but there's the idea that the doctor became like a serial killer and was performing unlicensed surgeries. Which yes. is a nice mm-hmm. way of saying there you guys. <laughs> uh, and uh, and and taking their hearts. Yes. So he could perform a, a transplant on his wife. And the crazy little kid followed in doctor's footsteps. Yeah. But well, then the I, I townsfolk think- like, you know, rallied instead of, you know, having him arrested or anything, they gathered around his house with torches one night, brought him torches. out into the yard and stoned him to death. Yes. But yeah. the child escaped. How did he escape? Oh, Colin, great. I don't great. want you to describe yep. this. Holly mm. or Michaela. This is what I'm talking about when I say memorable scene. Of, I, I, this is not something memorable. Man, I, yeah, I was like, it's not something you see every day. Uh, I have not. It's been a long time yeah. since I've and seen something like this. We don't this. get this scene until later in the movie. Later, it, way later in the movie. Third act, and it's jarring because there is a legit little kid actor in this <laughs> who is, setup who is enjoying himself in his role. Yeah. It feels like this kid was down <laughs> for cutting his way through "quote unquote" his mother's body. Yes. Like a goddamn emerging. sleeping bag, yeah. Right. It was like the zipper. Yeah, right. And it you see like the, the scalpel the poke yes. up through the skin, draw the line down like a fucking zipper in a sleeping bag, mm-hmm. and then the kid's teeth come next. How did he get into the body? That's what I wanted to know. How? Well, they, so they explained So we're up in the bag? That. Okay. Yeah, the, the dad, the doctor, sewed the child into his mom's body. 
From where? Because for how there was long? no showing. I know. On the I was front. like, there's no scenes. Gotta be in the back, the right? The asshole. But then you got, you got bones the back bottom? there. Yeah. Like, how do you? Yeah. yeah I just, feel like he went in where he came out. But you see, like this, like what seven year old kid, sorry, like I'm climb sorry. out of this body. Like you That's, see it in the scene. You see the whole thing, and crazy. the kid's like, ah, it's great. Ah, it is. Doing it. yeah. it's, it's great. I was it. not. I did like that scene. I will give them credit for. He was all slimy and wet. Yes. Yeah, that was, was like wild. One of those over the top, like okay, like you yeah. know, yeah, because it's uh, it's told to us by it's a flashback from yes, like one of the police the cop, officers yeah. who was there. So like we get the backstory on Doctor Giggles uh, several times. From well, I mean, he is, so he escapes from a, an asylum at the yes. beginning of the movie, right? Yeah, he is a, performing a surgery in the uh, the auditorium mm-hmm. um, uh, where you can watch, you know, doctors commit. Uh, Perform sur- commit surgery. Commit surgery. <laughs> commit surgery. Commit perform surgery. surgery at a certain point. It is revealed that he's perform. <laughs> it is commit surgery. He's committing surgery on somebody in a suit and tie. And so we're like, oh, that guy's been murdered. Uh, yeah, and then we real, and then it's revealed that the uh, the uh, viewers are mental patients as yeah, well, yeah, yeah. and that Doctor Giggles is also a mental patient who yeah. has escaped and is now murdering people in and, the. And they said what paranoid schizophrenia. Yes, and. Genius level IQ is yes. what they said. Yeah, they didn't say a number. Is. They didn't say a number. Yeah, I was no. listening oh, for they did it. Charts yeah. or something. They yeah. off the charts. But Stratospheric. Yeah. Yes. If you're yeah. gonna make a character genius level, never say the number. No, 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 no. no, no. Don't, 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 don't do what wild yeah. things did. Nowadays, no. people will be like, get online and be like, don't ah, say one twenty seven is not genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nev Campbell having a two hundred level IQ in wild things. I still can't get over that. That was nuts. Yeah. Don't declare it. Yeah. Don't give it a number. Off the charts. So he thinks he's a doctor, basically, because yeah. of these things. Yes. Yeah. So he has no medical training. No. He just thinks he's a doctor because he watched well, his when dad did he when go he nuts? was... And he's got a bag. <laughs> did he go nuts as a child? Well, see, did he go through medical school? Well, I feel like he did. Is, no, because uh, we're told that... So the way that I understand his backstory... We're piecing this together throughout the movie, mm-hmm. right? Because we're given all this stuff. Indeed. But the medical records at the insane asylum where he was held said that he was five when he was found. And when he was admitted, he was an orphan, but they know they didn't know his name. Right. Five when he was found. Yes. In a different what, what town time did he because, cut out, out of the body? But this is like in a different when he was five. It was like it he was, was five when he came yeah. out of that body. No, yeah. or something. That's what it made. It that looked like, like an older child. That's what it sounded okay, like, because okay. the records. That could be this movie. The, that's fine. Talladega or Tawanda or whatever it was. Mental. I, I guarantee it's none of what you just said. <laughs> yeah. But okay. So the uh, yep. So Tarwood. So maybe. So <laughs> right. Tarawood. Turkmenistan. Tarawood. Tarawood. Yeah. So yeah. So he basically right on the night of his dad's murder by the townspeople. Yes. Escapes from he, the morgue. He, he was birthed that somehow night. Somehow <laughs> makes it to another jurisdiction where he's mm-hmm. taken in and nobody knows who he is and he's lived there for 35 was he taken years, in by nuns something like that no it was a mental institution wasn't there was there, there was nuns, nuns in this movie no. i don't remember that no okay i was, was watching the movie. he's been institutionalized <laughs> since he was young and now he is finally escaped. I watching the <laughs> earlier today. I, uh, never mind. <laughs> and so a nursery rhyme has been created around uh, the 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 legend of the his dad. I'm assuming as, it's his as dad. As it should be. I like when there's little, uh, uh, they have uh, little songs, little uh, jingles mm-hmm. yep. for serial killers. Mm-hmm. Yep. That proves that they have, there's, there's a legend that is built up around them. People are yeah. aware of him yes. in this town. I like Minglewood. That. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Not Minglewood. Mm-hmm. No, the actual the town. Oh. Um, Mortonville. Uh, <laughs> I, I, want three more su- I want three more suggestions from yeah. you, Colin. All right. <laughs> Please. Three more guesses while I want three uh, more guesses while she looks it up. Uh, 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 Killingsburg. Uh, Mor- uh, Mor- <laughs> Mortonsburg. Yeah, I was going to go with the Berg after Ville. Uh, more high. Berg. Berg. Bergs and Burl. Bills. And- it's more high. <laughs> More, More high. high. That's okay. right. So that far right. off? <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. So you keep thinking that. Then, um, so anyway, so so the doctor had a house. It was this big gothic mansion. A Myers house from part five. Mm-hmm. It's ironic that you said that because oh, uh, there's a uh, DNA between those two movies. 
It oh. turns out that Robert Draper, the director of photography, shot both movies. Oh! The same, oh. In yeah. the same day? Or? <laughs> That's yeah. not a bad question, Holly. Yeah. Yep. That is funny. He also did some Tales from the Crips and both stuff those like movies. This guy's like, I love big houses. I yeah, like, Ram Shackle. Yes. Big houses, but anytime a person's going to be on screen, it's going to feel like we're looking up their nose. Yep. <laughs> Halloween 5's like that. This one's like that. Oh, yeah, I hate it. He wants it. the oh. characters to be bigger than life. Just, just, like, and, but it's the low angle. Yeah, it's so annoying. Like, you know, because the other thing like this movie it's very dark the lighting there is a lot of parts okay, that are like shadowy the, the locker well okay there is shadowy the locker room part <laughs> is very dark yeah. yeah where the old cop and the young cop talk but not underlit like a peter hyams movie no it's, it's still lit but it's just like man it's like spotlights of, everywhere yeah or like there's at least a lot of back lighting. lighting yeah a lot of back mm-hmm. spotlights coming out so yeah. some silhouettes so it has a that. look you're saying mm-hmm. it had like a 90s era look a lot of dutch angles a lot of dutch angles right it's the same it feels feels like the same lighting as 80s stuff in the 90s it felt like we were moving the camera more yeah or at least in this movie uh, yeah. it felt like same lighting and all that stuff but we're gonna not just gonna be static on it we're gonna yeah, move around, gonna move around. it we're felt gonna... like we were moving a little bit more in this movie yeah um and um yeah i don't know where i was going with that all right <laughs> so he returns to his ancestral home mm. where he hacks into the old uh, doctor's office that was apparently up, in the basement. Or, or like hidden. There's a Behind wall. a drywall. Like yeah. Drywall, into yeah. This, yeah. But down there in the basement is his dad's old Dang doctor's baby. office. Yes. Now, when we say a doctor's yeah, office. At first, we just see like a door and it looks like a home office. But then as the movie goes on, it's a whole fucking clinic. With like 10 patient rooms yes. and an it's OR. It's, it's like an immediate lot. care. Yeah. yeah. In the it basement. Is. Yeah. It is an immediate care in the basement. Which is much bigger than it's, you know, much bigger than the house above it, you know? Yes. Um. Okay. So Dr. Giggles comes home and immediately sets up residence and then says, well, he's got to have patience. He's going to get revenge on the town for killing his dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So out he goes and he starts murdering people. Mm-hmm. And quipping. He doesn't quips. have to go far because the children come to him. Right. So who are these the children? The children uh, our high school protagonists. Who are all these people? Who do we have in this motley crew? Hoodlums. Dude, we have um, basically we have Holly, Holly Marie Combs and her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. We also have um, the dude who wears the hat with his bangs out. Yeah. And his hat guy. Right. And his girlfriend. And redhead girlfriend. Right. And then Dougie Doug. And then and his girlfriend, the Jada black Pinkett. people in this movie. Yeah. Oh. She she kind of has a Jada Pinkett thing going on. Character-wise, sure. <laughs> Look-wise, no. You don't think so? I think they're both cute. I don't know. I'm not saying that in a bad way. I well, think they're I, both no, cute. No, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not saying you are. I just okay. the comparison doesn't... For Fine. Me. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be what ends the podcast right now. Yeah. Well, that's basically our cast. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. various. No, assorted- Sean did that the entire movie. That person would be played by this person. That person would. I say one, and he's like, "Nope, <laughs> not today." Uh, 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 I I have no recourse for that. So <laughs> sure. <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> all right. So I guess let's uh, let's. Uh, I do so like the fantasy cast as we're watching the movie. I, uh, we how dare you do it after? Because like, uh, yours list. were all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, okay. So if we've defined our. Pro- all right, I'll give you Jada Pinkett. That's thank fine. you. She would, yeah. Oh, all right. You know what? Uh, yes, I'm uh, thinking Jada Pinkett and Low Down Dirty Shame. Jada um, Pinkett, um, but also um, uh, the. Uh, Tales from the Crypt movie, Bordello of Blood. Yes. No, not Bordello of Blood. No, no, no. Demon Knight. Demon Knight. That's yeah, that, I knew what you meant. Is, I knew what you meant. Uh, yeah. That is the. You're right. You're right. Right. You're Thank right. you. Okay, I get it. Okay, if we resolve this, can we move on now? <laughs> no. I was always fine okay. with it. All right. <laughs> Were you desperately trying to get back onto Doctor Giggles? Okay. <laughs> well, we had to figure some shit out. Who this then? This is what this podcast is. We have to figure shit <laughs> yeah. out. Have you figured it out? We figured it out. We figured out that Jada Pinkett can be recast as a minor character. That's something that there is a correct. Sorry, did answer you see Scream 2? It was one. Yeah. Wait, but the... Uh, All right. This is all a right, different then, discussion then. for a different day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can't get into it. No. no. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, sorry. Me and Holly sorry. agree. We must We're move fine. On. Moving We're good. On. We're fine. All right. So <laughs> who is our protagonist in this movie, and what is her story, and how does it link to Dr. Shh, Giggles? Because, I mean, if it's a horror story, there's got to be, like, a plot. There, there, there should be some uh, doctor part of this movie, as far as she is concerned. She has a heart problem. Okay, we're setting up her trauma. Who, we are. Okay. Holly Maria Combs has uh, a heart condition. They don't know if they're going to have to do surgery on her or anything, mm-hmm. but that is weighing heavily on her mind. She has a prolapsed valve. 
Yes. Yeah. I can't. I can't hear that word and take it seriously. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's a medical term, yeah. but it's she, does. she got a prolapse valve, so they're monitoring it. Yep. Uh, that she's supposed to be hooked up to a machine that is going to give information to the doctors to know if they need to have surgery on her. Yeah. So she a... has this wang on if her. If they're going to commit surgery on her. <laughs> if they're going to commit surgery <laughs> yeah. and, on this woman. It's a routine procedure. She According called. to them, yes. And she wears uh, a medical device and she's very self conscious about it because she's in high school. Yes. Yeah, and her um, rude ass neighbor's like, what are you wearing, you freak? Basically, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, this is Nancy Fish. Yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, that's a weird radio. Walkman. Yeah. She grabbed it. Like, don't, touch, don't touch things people are wearing. Yeah. Just don't. Don't, don't, t- don't touch people. Yeah. Unless you have. Even if you get have out that, of that personal space. Yeah. And uh, so, wow. Um, <laughs> all right. So, so, but she has another layer of trauma. How so? Because her mother mm. has died. passed. Her mother yes. died. And how did her mother die? Uh, routine surgery complication. Dun, yes. Dun, dun. Which makes what? much more nervous about <laughs> yeah. undergoing possible routine surgery, according to these doctors, yep. on her heart. And you know what she should tell herself is statistically, it's probably not going to happen in the same family twice. So uh, that, <laughs> I don't think that does anything to settle any nerves in this family. It wouldn't for me. Yeah. It's like, statistically, it's not possible. I'm just like, okay, but it could happen. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I did actually like this setup. Like on the story, kind of you know, it's structure. It, no, it works. It it's was good. like well, because what I was, you know, it's like okay, so Doctor Giggles comes to town and he's just going to kill people in the That's town the at random. So like he kills Dougie, Doug, and Jada Pinkett stand in because yes. they're locked in a room by uh, horny teenagers. They're like, let's start the banging. Who are, on who the are wall. just villainous? And like, they lock him in there, and like oof. you're going to get laid or something. And then they take off and leave him like they trapped do. in they're the like, in the em. spooky house. And they, they get, get injected murdered. with green shit. Yeah. Like, he kills people in very doctor ways, which I do appreciate for a movie called Dr. Giggles, that he is he is a doctor uh, through and through to the st- end. They stick with the theme. They do. Mm. So there are injections of green liquid into people that will kill them. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are scalpels. There are rib spreaders. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of doctor stuff in this movie. Mm-hmm. A lot of doctor stuff. Love it. Thermometers. Oh, yeah. Pointy. Okay, there's never been, is there, there's never been a pointy thermometer. That's, in existence, not, not that I know. There's of. no reason. Not a thing. Yeah. I thought that We're thermometer was going somewhere else. So, so I was did re- I. I was relieved uh, that it went too. in the mouth. That was right. like, oh, thank nowadays, God. Nowadays, it might. In yeah. Ryan Murphy, like, yes. 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 Ryan Murphy, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There would be. Yeah. Yep. Because nowadays we've seen everything else. Yeah. We got a shock. It's got to go on the ass. Yep. yep. Um. This is back in the classier nineties. <laughs> well, I mean, who thought we'd say that? Yeah. But the the um the thing up the nose. Oh, 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 again, this is great just because, I mean, we've all been through a pandemic at this point. We've all been through COVID tests. We've all had something go fucking all the way up our nose into Mm -hmm. our brain. Yeah. So this hits a little closer to home than I think most things do. (laughs) That was a pretty good effect. It was was good. Oh, it was good. Nancy Fish, but the the jaw moved. And I think her eyes winced. Yeah. The model head. It was As he shoves this thing all the way. It's also also got a light at the end of it, I believe. So (laughs) you see the light going up her nose into her. It was good. It was effective. Like, I was more worried. Like, I didn't even look at the effect of her. I was more worried about it going up the nose yeah, okay. it, was, it was solid it worked Ugh. it grossed me yeah, out yeah that'll work on anybody nowadays yep. i think based on what we've all the shared trauma we've all been through <laughs> yep and k and b makeup effects were the guys who worked Bravo. on this it was Bravo. directly Bravo. the three of them um kurtzman burger and nicotero yep is it k and b okay well uh <laughs> so um Okay, so we've set up. So those are our. Oh yeah, and then then uh, he wanders basically around the town, going into people's homes. Right. He does have a home base of a house where his his father. We. Yeah, but he's left there, right? Like he's like, I'm gonna I'm yeah, gonna get he, revenge for you, he daddy. Practiced, he practiced with the two with the like lethal injection. Yep. And then he left At the, the house. house. And then he left the house to yep. go through the neighborhood. Yes. But mm-hmm. the irony is, is that the houses that he goes into are also the kids who were uh, just at his house. They're like the, the friend group of oh, the yeah, high they school. Oh, yeah, left, and then he went and... It's like, wow, them. how amazing. They, is that what it was? That he tracked them down? I didn't get I that, mean, but it, I was it, like, oh, you're at their house, I think it's and they po- were just at your house. I think it's possible within the movie to be like, oh... They were there, so now he's tracking them down. Yeah. It could also I, be it could also just be random 
I get the impression that since they were at the house, he sees them as his patients because they were at the clinic. Yeah. So no, I no, I'll go with that. He's like yeah. checking on them. I like this work right. that you're putting in. I Thank mean, I like you. there's nothing I think, in the movie right. that bears I think it's, sound, I think it's there. It no, at least makes there. more sense yeah. that way. Yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, so he has to go and check. It's like, right, well, because you're all there, you all had symptoms. The guy who looks like the skater guy is getting his girlfriend to put on his mom's lingerie. Oh, my God. Oh, all right. sexy this was night a thing. at home. This like, whole he's scene. like, I stole this lingerie from my mom. You should wear it to be sexy for me. It was amazing how <sighs> it was amazing how cringy this scene was without <laughs> anything being graphic. Yeah, no, and he, but he kept great. mentioning his mom to the point that it was like clearly a fetish yeah. thing. It wasn't just he like, this is all I have like, access to. It I was I stole this from like my I mom. I swiped my mom's lingerie. Yeah. And she's like, you want me That's... to put this on? Yeah. Ugh. And she's it's... like, okay, but you have to dress up too. And of course that means oh, he's got to wear God. a rubber. Because this is a message well, movie. Well, Hollywood's well, always been message movies. That's all we need from the men. The... We need so much more from the women. Yes. Yeah. Dress up like it's all, dress up like my mother and take care of me. It's yep. almost literally that. Yep. Uh, and then oh. it just gets so, this movie is gross. It's and in ways I, I in ways I, I did not okay. expect. Now I have a weird question, and please don't judge me on this. Safe space. Okay. I used to do laundry when I was a kid. I hope you do it now, too. Well, I... <laughs> I used to do laundry. Fair, fair point. Thank fair you. Fair point, Holly. Thank you. All right. His Don't shirts know. always do look a little wrinkled now that Thank you say you. that. I'm like, hmm. Okay. So your early days of laundry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sensitive about that. I'm, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm just oh fucking with you. I'm just no. with you. <laughs> um, your early days of laundry. The early days when you're a kid and you have to do laundry, like you do laundry for the house. Okay. At certain points. And so underwear was a part of it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, and, and at a certain point, you you, did anyone else do end up doing their mother's laundry and doing folding underwear for the? It's a thing I have where I I'm against mother's underwear. I this, and this might be a weird thing. <laughs> no, I would I would um I mean I did the whole family's laundry and I just never really thought anything of it. Uh, my but, I think my mom washed laundry, but I help her fold. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, but it was just, yeah. It was just a thing where it's just like. Your mother's underwear is just not a thing that it, it, no, it was I felt, a thing that was just not. No, I get it. I felt that way about folding my dad's underwear. You, okay, it's well, weird. this is what I'm asking it's weird. because that's what I had to do, and it's just like a thing. It's just like I'm. It's it's weird. It's it a felt weird, thing. weird, and yeah. so that weirdness carries over when we get into. I stole my mother's lingerie. I'd like you to wear it. Like, <laughs> well, so it's you like were you brought back to the early days of of laundry and of doing Sean. laundry in yeah. my house where I had to yeah. fold my parents' laundry. Yeah. Which I mean, is not this, a thing. This is clearly traumatized you in yeah. some way. It did. There you go. <laughs> it did. I and I don't this because Thank I don't God. I don't I have never done laundry and expected my son to you know fold yeah. them and be like these are my right. Yeah. But job. it was a thing back then yeah, I guess where you would just chores. made to do everyone Did in the house laundry. Make some moolah. No. Oh. I mean I'm maybe well, I got your household point. chores. Yeah. Right. But it was just it was just weird. Yeah. i not not that you should be. Uh, I was always turned off on it. Not that you should be turned on by it, but it's just it was just always felt weird. And How long should we keep this? Going? I know. I'm like I'm know. like you really need to maybe and, talk to a therapist about this. I think maybe it was a trauma in my childhood yeah. that I don't want to relive, and I don't. And yet, but I'm also are. wondering. This is literally what therapy but is. But I'm Sean. wondering if this was a thing for anybody else, or if I'm well, alone in the world. I mean, no. Like I, I said, like, I was, and I, think I was not the, traumatized the only place by to it. To figure this out is on a public forum I, where I'm talking to many people. I agree. Like, did you yes, also have to I go through this traumatic experience? No, it did not traumatize me. It did it. It was weird. I felt strange folding my dad's underwear, but I guess. Okay. It didn't carry on with all, yeah, my I life. I literally no, not it, thought it, about it. No, it has. Oh, it was more like, ew, what next? Like, <laughs> No, it was because, no, it was a constant yeah. thing for me. I'm no. sorry. Well, it's okay. going to get even weirder. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. My trauma. Because yeah. the guy flushed, he <laughs> drops. trying to be uh, uh, just. I was giving you an out. Appreciate the, my the, candor. The guy drops the uh, condom into the toilet. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay. And instead of going, Ooh. okay, this is a lost cause. No, he's determined no. to follow through. And so we he, have to fish it out of the, he, with. We all knew with a toothbrush. With we, his we, own toothbrush. We, had to, we were trying to figure this out throughout the movie. I'm like, whose bathroom are we in? Yeah. Whose toothbrush are toothbrush are we using? Uh, what what is going on? He drops the condom in there and he decides he's going to try and fish it out to continue using it. Meanwhile, we're all very 
uh, uh, loud in our uh, yeah, that was because a, he disapproval. Dro- he drops of this. it like three times and continues to keep scooping He's it. He's using his own toothbrush, bristle first in the water yeah. to fish a condom out of the toilet, which has holes in it. Yeah, it is about, leaky when we see it. Everything about it was disgusting. Because we thought, uh, like, uh, I originally thought, like, he's going to pull this out and he's going to use it. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get a sex scene where he uses a no, toilet, it's the a toilet. You're not gonna get a sex scene. toilet condom. Yep. A toilet yeah, condom. Exactly. Yeah. Also, you're right, Colin. I know, because there was a warning about AIDS at mm-hmm. the doctor's office. There was. There's a condom talk. This is also an anti-smoking, anti-drinking, and anti-drug movie yeah. as the, the characters take those positions. Um, <laughs> yeah, in the nineties, we realized these yeah, things were bad. Because didn't didn't there was a joke about like we should you know like we're off school that means we can partake in unsafe activities. And stuff. Like, <laughs> Is like, that all okay. it took? Um, I don't have school. Well, anyway, day. both of those people die oh. in horrible ways. <laughs> uh, she's uh, given the you know he's like I have the cure for the common cold. And then he jabs the <laughs> thermometer back through the back of her head. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. mm-hmm. um, Do we and, talk about the black couple being locked in a? Yep. In a house for like, yep, most of his yeah. And like, they were murdered yeah. with green what liquid. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, just locked him in there and left. Yeah, the black yes. friends got locked away and murdered. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yep. Yeah. And like, they leave and like drive away to a completely different location. Yeah. Like, a real. It wasn't this would like be a kidnapping move. charge, right? Yeah, like, it wasn't like lock him in a room for a minute and then be like, oh, just kidding. No, yeah. no, no. They lock him in and leave locked him. Locked him in seven months of heaven, seven days of heaven. Oh my god! So okay. seven minutes. But no, in, they locked right. him in because he he fucking jammed a pickaxe into the door mm-hmm. that locked them in there. Yeah. What a dick! Right. All these pranksters going on and doing stuff. Well, Doctor Giggles is out there killing people. Yep. yep. So he locked his friends in a room and then made his girlfriend wear his mom's laundry. This he, kid is fucked uh, up. Yeah. yeah. Both of them die though, and then uh, there's <laughs> then there's a carnival, and the carnival's happening oh, like a uh, yes. close by, and it takes up a lot of the movie as we're going to the carnival and learning yep. about the Hall past trauma. I love a carnival in a movie. I Hall do of too. Mirrors, yeah. mm-hmm. where it's people bit, run into it's the, very visually <laughs> pleasing. Yeah, they did the one thing I hoped they would do, mm-hmm. which is all I wanted, which is I wanted the character to run into, into the glass, into yeah. the glass. Which and she gets a bloody nose, which does. then she needs a band aid. Doctor yeah. Giggles, thank what God, is there. Is this the, com- the, the band-aid the size of a skateboard where is, it is it is the band-aid the size of a skateboard yeah. why yeah. where how in his doctor where bag. Did it, where it's where did this folded, come from he's just no up. you no you have to special order shit like this <laughs> a band-aid the size of a neck brace yeah. remember Crazy. he says that he custom makes I a lot it. of his stuff yeah, well, this was but done. When? I mean, but this is—I love it, but oh my god! And it works in the tone of the movie, right? Yes. I mean, yeah, a yes. movie where you have a kid like crawling out See, of. And his... this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's very clownish. The like, there's movie. there's a lot You're of right. very clownish things. You are. He's got a giant band aid. Like, that's a clown joke. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, it does feel like because doctors are this cl- are doctors this close to being clowns most <laughs> of the time. I Behind mean, I, it feels now like I it. wonder. Well. It turns out. So this is distract you from the shot. <laughs> right. So this is what I was saying earlier was the thing structurally that kind of worked was that they had it was just going to be a slasher movie, mm. but then for the second half it kind of gave Dr. Giggles a uh, a point. He has a target because he finds out that Jennifer has a heart condition mm. and all of a sudden it sparks that memory. Just like mother. And this yes. time he's going to save her. And yep. so he's specifically tracking down Jennifer for the second half of the movie. That's why he's mm-hmm. at the carnival. And then yes. he injects her with something and takes her back to the house to do surgery on her yes. in his clinic. However, give her we've heart. totally ignored that there are police officers in this movie there are. and they form a, uh, you know, like a, a, a prong of protagonists that are working also in the hero's favor. This is I love your alliteration. A prong of protagonist. <laughs> there you go. Bravo. Prong yep. of police protagonist. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Even better. There's two guys, the older guy and the younger guy. And the older guy, of course, has the uh history where thirty five years ago I drank this <laughs> beer. <laughs> exactly thirty five yep. years ago. Yeah. And I haven't touched it since because that night I saw a kid crawl out of his mother in the in the basement. That was that sounds great. It's the yeah. best. just as you it's say. It's one of the best moments because we're pretty straight slasher at this point, and then we get into the dark locker room where the uh, old cop has to tell the young cop a story about, you want to know what this town's about? I'll tell you what this <laughs> town's about. I watched a kid carve his way out of his mother one time. Yeah. 35 years ago. Yep. Don't chase nursery rhymes. Yeah. Don't chase nursery rhymes. <laughs> a great moment, I think. Not only because I called it, but... 
He called awesome. a lot of stuff in this. It was kind it was of so amusing fun. to sit here during the movie and like every <laughs> single line that was said, Sean says it. Like, I think, yep. I think he was trying to redeem himself from last week. What? what? Oh, because he missed the giant clue. Because and, I was just oblivious. To because the entire I, movie. You're right. Yeah. No, I, you're right. I had zeroed in on one character. I was like, nope, I'm, I'm going to live and die with this guy. So much so you didn't even realize who any of the other characters were. <laughs> Very much so. So this one, I'm, I just, yeah. I well, he was laser one. focused on this one. Yeah. But would, would that mean that the movie was predictable? 100%. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's that. I mean, you no, had no, every single, every, and this, yeah. so Sean hasn't seen the movie before. I, yeah. No, I haven't. I mean, for, it was like no, every our, single yeah. joke he for delivered the punchline. For our listeners, Sean literally said, I haven't seen this bottle in 35 years. The character... Th- Ten seconds later, said, "I haven't ha- opened this bottle in thirty-five My, years." Yeah. It was that exact amazing, amazing. But, but there is a diff- there is a difference between predictable and doing what you want a movie to do. And is I think, it? well, okay. uh, the, I, no, I would just no. say predictable is not always bad. Well, but but the line is in the person, mm-hmm. whether what what you want, mm-hmm. because what can be predictable or what you want is what so you it's want satisfying. You're right, like, what I you want, want this to be satisfying is also predictable for some other people. Oh. This, I wonder if that is what the, I wanted to be satisfying happened in the movie. Maybe that is the enduring appeal of the movie. Maybe I think that so. is like everybody's like, I want this to happen, and it does exactly I the way. Think that so I think that's a big plus yeah, for this movie. I can see that. Um, so the younger cop. Uh, eventually he's the one who's like, okay, I'm going to, you know, like, uh, there's something going on with yeah. this doc. Cause he's like, there's this t- crazy doctor. And everybody's like, no, there's no crazy doctor. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody's told off by the police chief, you know, in a very tense oh, yeah. scene. There is the a 49ers scene. 49ers hat. Um, <laughs> and this might be a, 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 a diversion here, a sidebar oh. into something. How did like, we never do that? Well, How the dare way, you? the way that we're introduced to the cops, if I remember, um, they have to break up Breeders Hill. <laughs> oh, all right. We're, oh we're, let's, let's go to the place where everyone's been drinking and smoking and getting high and make them all drive home. Yeah. Yes, at once. Mm-hmm. At once. Everybody's yeah. trying to get... Like, uh, it's all, like it's all okay. It's like all you crazy kids. <laughs> yep. You drive home and don't do anything else. And then there's another like uh like so so actually the carnival's put on by the school i think we established right yeah because it's end of summer bash if nothing else of, based on our experiences it is put it's on to the kick school. off summer yeah, yeah because there's also some side drama between uh because between um, side pieces yeah because jennifer's boyfriend uh glenn quinn yeah. mm-hmm. is pursued by these two girls right yeah in the polka dot, one of them's in a polka dot dress. Yeah. And polka dot denim. Billowy. They follow him to band the band. band. Oh, oh my god, I forgot about this scene. This movie has <laughs> oh, a lot yeah. of characters. Band like geeks. An, there's like an orgy happening in the band room. Yeah. <laughs> which is I was like, whoa, this is what wow. Everybody's which just I making think, out which all I think or, is an what orgy. The band geeks did. Yeah, they're just making was, out in the corners in this dimly lit, you know, little spot. I don't spot think any of them are But there's like ten couples. There's a lot of people. No, I don't. But I also think like in real life, band geeks were always just doing this shit. Oh yeah, just so, like, like theater, that was the just like theater kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. just the place to be, and we no one ever knew about you it. Guys always have yep. those theater kids that would give each other like back massages and like a chain. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. <laughs> All right, that no. is too specific. <laughs> to not have an example behind yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, that is my example. The fucking theater kids are weird, man. You didn't have okay, weird theater yeah, kids going to school. No, we did. I yeah, just, I was and not they would, in, they were all sucking and fucking all the time. Enough to know that no, I wasn't. Massages were. But they did it in public, dude. Like <laughs> in school, like they were freaks. <laughs> I wasn't part of them. I just love, had to be no, in the same I school the, as them. I love the. Are we telling the, the youngsters out there if they want to get some action? You got to oh, get into theater. theater. Yeah, theater. theater. Oh, yeah. yeah, they all just stay to their clique, but they all fuck each other. Theater yeah, and theater, band are both that way. Oh, and band. I can okay. confirm, that way too. It's, I, can, I think it's easier than. Sports. I can confirm the exception to this is Christian school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yes. was a theater kid. I was in drama class, but I don't remember being that interested. No, you got to be theater. Yeah, yeah theater. Okay. Yeah. Theaters. Oh, that's right. You got to do the plays. Like yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. The, the, like, the, that was a tough time. You want to guys want to hang out after <laughs> this show? 
the the Venn diagram of of at least when I was in high school, the Venn diagram of theater kids and kids that would go to anime conventions wearing like a furry tail was like the same. Oh, same. oh, oh so that so was uh, they were, yeah. they were attention was, seekers, I would no, say. No, no, undiscovered country, yeah. as far as I was concerned. Well, this movie does have something to say about kids in band class because there's a scene with a saxophone. Oh, she she oh, fellates this thing, man. Oh, just, Jesus, it's vulgar. Yeah, it's yeah. It, it in the best way. Yeah. Did they say you just put your lips on it and blow? They say you just put your lips on it and blow? Or did it, and that, that didn't happen? She, that she is, deep throats it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she, yeah. she, she, just, so much that it made her there friend is, uncomfortable. You know, and she's, like, she's doing it well because she hesitates and then she's got her, she does it well. <laughs> yeah. Without going into more detail, she does it well. Uh, yeah, it's the sexiest saxophone scene. I don't scene. need to hear you guys' further opinions on this. <laughs> and then... That's why, that's why uh, I <laughs> But then Jennifer wanders in on this. Oh, yeah, she uh, catches them. And so there's there's a rift. This is more conflict mm-hmm. between her and uh, the the dude hero. Yes. Um, and so he's sidelined from the movie for like the next 20 minutes. Until he randomly shows up in the hallway. Yes. Yes. Uh, because then the attention shifts basically to the cop. He's like, you know, like, okay, he's the man of action who's actually going to save the day. And actually, I was surprised that he got as far as he did. Because mm-hmm. I'm he like. Did. They're gonna at some point. Um, Doctor Giggles is gonna do is like because he gets shot by uh, I think uh, her dad at one point. And then he performs self surgery, giggling <laughs> to himself as he uh, physician heal thyself. Right is the line. Yes, mm-hmm. and he talks to himself throughout this yep. process. And um, then he is stabbed in the OR as he's trying to extract Jennifer's heart. But the cop busts in and is like, "I'm gonna shoot you." And then um, Doctor Giggles wanders off into. A side room where he's like, he's going to do what doctors do best. And that is, he gets a golf club. <laughs> this was, I, I like this joke. I like this That's joke. That's a good too. joke. <laughs> mm-hmm. because, to do what doctors do best and then to pan over to a golf set of golf clubs. Yeah. It's Bravo. Funny. It's that, that, that yeah. is the, that yeah. is the, it's the doctor golfing funny. joke, which is good. That was funny. <laughs> well, the cop and the doctor get into a heated battle as our two teens are trying to escape through the collapsed, uh, uh, stairwell. Right. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause they have to jump up and get mm-hmm. to it. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, the cop doesn't make it. I can't remember no, what gets, happened to him now that I'm counting this. Something where he's bleeding from he the He gets a, um, a skull saw on the back. Right. That's okay. right. Because okay. yeah. it was not very gory, and that's why I can't remember it. No, he's um, bleeding for the mouth. But unfortunately for him, yeah. Yep. And so that then puts the onus of action on Glenn uh, Quinn to save the day, right? He's got to yep. get the girl up and out of the, the place and... Uh, but that doesn't happen because she ends up saving herself by spilling uh, alcohol all over the floor and then electrocuting it, <laughs> and it zaps Doctor Giggles to death. Right? We get the blue lightning. Yeah. It looks well, you, like shocker. Yeah, because yeah. it, it yeah, was the there cop. Lot, there's yeah, because you, 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 you skipped a lot. There's... Well, the cop actually brought her back from like Doctor Giggles does stop her heart. And the cop brings her back. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, he does the, CPR. In the, yeah, in the yeah. clinic in the house basement. Yeah. And then eventually she's taken to the actual hospital where they're going to actually. Well, that's perform. after the house explodes. Because there's she's a house shot. explosion. Yeah. Right. And then there's fire and uh, and Jennifer and her boyfriend escape. Right. And big house explosion. Right. Yes. And then they go to a real hospital. Yeah. And they're about to do like the actual surgery to fix her valve issue. Yep, they have to do it now because yeah. of all this action that she's yeah. had. It's like right. the heart is in bad condition. And we, we do think that Dr. Eagles is dead at this point. He's died in a fire. Do we? Okay, that's what they're the saying. The movie wants you the, to His bag is. is on fire. It got thrown out of the house and slain <laughs> in the yes. driveway. And stuff. Yes. So you would think he was dead. Yeah. I mean, but the movie continues, so you think. know he's not. <laughs> right. <laughs> So she's in, she's in the OR about to have surgery, and there's a doctor and a nurse. That's it for heart surgery. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, to I'm, be fair, the other doctors have all had their throat slashed right in a nice even line <laughs> in the other room. That's true. That another nurse, which I think was the other, att- oh, that was the attending nurse. She finds it, and so she gets killed. And so, yeah, there you're right. It was the world's darkest OR, mm-hmm. and there we, was we, one doctor and one nurse have, going to perform heart surgery. Mm-hmm. We have a problem with uh, vacant hospitals in horror movies, I mm-hmm. think. A problem. I, a problem. I think there's there never are, enough people around. There is never <laughs> enough people around in the hospital for what I think there should be. They're never bright enough? 
Yeah. There's a lot of light. Never, no, turns never out you need a lot of light when you're going to cut into very, somebody. Also, uh, not a lot of people, and uh, usually they try and make it during a time where you would think there aren't a lot of people, but I feel like there should be more people in this hospital. Yeah, yes. and why is this seemingly like a horror problem? Because like... it Well, it definitely is. You don't see so, a rom-com where just like, where's well, the Well, there's so many there? daytime soaps that are set in hospitals that have background extras and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like, doing shit. Yeah. 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 Like, well, did we you guys ever hear that about that the... Like with... um. Grey's Anatomy that they've used the same background extras like since the beginning run of the show so those people have had a career out of being Love that. background extras, but there was an episode where they had like a like a mass shooting at the hospital, and so they're like, "Okay, who wants to get killed off in this?" And a lot of them were like, "Fuck you, yeah, this is like my my time to shine." And then they're like, "Well, well but we can't bring done. you back, yeah." Right, and then, then, then so, and then none no. of them wanted to do it, so yeah, sure. yeah. But I, oh no, that was interesting. Yeah, I'd rather be the the seventeen the seasons in the background. Right. Yeah. Oh, they were like the employees. Was, yes, That's yeah. Like, okay, I thought you were saying like the no, 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 no. like nurses and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And okay. who would want to give up that job? I've been doing it for yeah. 15 years. Yeah. And they've been paying me. Like, like, you like, like me do, a, you get, yeah. do you get the the glory of being somebody who dies in one of these things? Right. Or do you just keep making money? It's like, no, you give me a trauma blanket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And it's like, yeah, that show's never going to get canceled, so you might as well t- yeah, stick with it, you know? Stick with the money. Yeah. It's crazy. Is that show on like season 20 or something by now, it, right? It's yeah, got to be it longer than ER. Right now, I it's think. never a horror Jesus. movie that takes place in the ER, like when there's like a bunch of people running around never. and it's all craziness. Never. Yeah. It's always Probably quiet and empty. It, yeah. It's always, yeah, I quiet yeah. and empty. I don't, I, I don't believe in your quiet and empty hospital. Yeah. I prefer mm. you stop doing it. Right. But yeah. Larry Drake now burned because burned. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Uh, he has that. Uh, I'm just gonna go with that. Anytime anybody Bubbling. has a burn it, it, it in a really slasher movie, like, it's because it's an ode. Sh- the horror shorthand. Yeah, like, we did that uh, with Trigger Treat before he had burn. Right. Oh, why Freddy Krueger? Um, and so he shows up. Burn makeup. Now we have. Like, I'm her doctor. Yep. This is the the action figure. Uh, Doctor Giggles. Right. Probably He's got would the burn. You're right. Or at least, if nothing else, he'd have a a, a head you could put the burn. The burn went on. Yeah. 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 And he does show up to try and perform the mm-hmm. surgery, kills the doctor, and uh, but somehow she's magically able to free herself of the anesthetic, oh. which I like that it's like count back from sort of a hundred. She got down to like eighty seven or something. <laughs> In real life, you're like a hundred, ninety nine, bam. Yeah. Uh, but she's like, nope, I can pull this off, and you know, then the uh, uh, battle royale begins. Mm. That's when she ends up mm-hmm. shocking him to death. Yep. Right. Right. Sorry, you're right. I had that yep. part or out of order. <laughs> Blue lightning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How did she destroy? What was the fire then earlier? How did they start the fire? Because mm-hmm. I know there were was- there were canisters down in the basement of the house that blew up. Yeah. Um. The. The doctor that he was, or the um, cop that he was fighting with, knocked over some flammable solution that got all over the floor. Okay. Um, and then I think something shorted out. There were tanks. Yep, and that's like, what caused yeah. the explosion. Yeah, because yeah, there were the medical tanks. Which right. Because like, oh, it's tanks. poetic justice in the movie that he shocked her and stopped her heart. She's going to shock the floor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With, covered with, with the her solution, her. And mm-hmm. shock him to death, mm-hmm. and so then uh, he does. But then as she goes past, ah, jump scare, guess what? He's still alive. And so who was it who put the, uh, was it her that put the devices into him? Like, Yeah, what? yeah, because he had, he had put, when he came into the OR, he had pulled out like a bag of all of his like homemade surgical Oh, he did. There items. was a moment yeah. where he's, he's showing off his homemade surgical devices. Yep. I forgot about that. Yeah, yes. and the, um. <laughs> There was two. She had two of them yeah. that she shoved into his chest. And yeah, he, she does the double handed boom. Take he, two and call me in the morning. Yep. Yes, yes. There and is one turns, liners galore. In turns this movie. to the audience. Is looking directly into the camera. Yeah. And says, "Is there a doctor in the house?" <laughs> Before he falls on those and <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> And I feel like Colin is also dead. On the <laughs> I'm all for all of the one liners in this movie. I enjoyed okay. them. One liners. Right. Just his a his little, situational stuff with get being a doctor yeah. and using those to his advantage. Yeah. Off angle. Take like. two of these. Yeah. Call me one of mine. All right. I, so I, I think if you if we have these ideas of doctors who like obviously the line, take two and call me in the morning is an obvious doctor line. If we mm-hmm. can't use that in horror movies like this, this looks worse what are we than doing it's gonna, or what was it? it looks worse than it is it's gonna hurt it's not gonna hurt it right. uh, this will hurt you, know. you more than it hurts so yeah. there, there's a lot all of a lot stuff. of doctor language they do it all 
every All single doctor cliche one of them, has worked yes, into this is movie. Is in this movie, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Bravo, Manny Yep. Bravo. Bravo. I appreciate that. Uh, yep. Tip of the hat. Okay, so there it is. Now we're going to go around the table. I think so. We're going to tell you if you should watch the movie called Doctor Giggles. But first, we're going to read some of your mail. In order Sometimes to I forget do that, that you're going. You're going, you're going <laughs> we, like, we're gonna. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh no, we want to delay this and extend the suspense. And yeah, it's like we uh, want to hear from you also. It, so where you're delaying the <laughs> where you're delaying the orgasm. Yeah, you're, you're yeah, just, tantric. It's, yeah, it's, tantric. It's a very yeah, tantra. That's, that's yeah, exactly. Right. Um, I was thinking of when they go to commercial break on like a reality show. <laughs> no, I was thinking of tantric sex. Holly, <laughs> yeah. get with it. Well, All right. really, I need but to also, get with it. <laughs> but, I also, but Holly, but I also think it's the same thing. You're yeah. just delaying the satisfaction, the right. gratification. And the person leaving tonight is go to commercial. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. Well, that's what we're going to do. So we will tell you if you have to watch the movie or not. But first, we're going to read your mail. To do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, sir. How many times has Igor been resuscitated, do you think? By himself or by others? Well, all right. Yes and yes. he has Which a medical one? license. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> No. Oh, does he oh, have his own practicing? Like he, practice? yeah. he brought he the mail in a doctor bag. He has his own business. Yeah, his own <laughs> oh. practice. Yeah. Uh, what do you yeah. think is behind these walls? Mm-hmm. I don't want to know. Beep. It's a secret yeah. doctor's Beep. office, just yeah. like this movie. Oh, yeah. that's it's unfortunate. He's working on would, cats and dogs. What, he's working his way up. What kind of yep. clientele would trust him? He's like, as a he's like, oh, Colin, what's that movie? American Mary. Oh, yeah, Igor's yeah, yeah, like American yeah, Mary. Yeah, He's yeah, like yeah, stitching yeah. up wounds for criminals. If you shit. need, yeah, yeah. <laughs> off the books. Doctor. Yeah, okay, that yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's or that picture. shitty. There's what was that Charlie Charlie Day movie? Fuck, um, Hotel oh. Artemis or whatever. Oh, that yeah, wasn't yeah, that movie yeah, about like a uh, like a uh, like yeah. a hospital for bad guys yeah, or something yeah. like yeah. some shit like this. Yeah, people need it. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't David Duchovny a mob doctor? Was it called Mob Doctor? I can't remember. All right. <laughs> I so, hope so. Apparently, this is a whole subgenre. Yeah, geez, I had no idea. Um, all right. So, uh, first, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About tonight's movie, Dr. Giggles, Long Tall Shorty writes in, ah. who... It took me this long to figure out that Sean Roger. It's Sean Roger. It's Sean Roger. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. You didn't know that? Uh, no. Oh. No. Sorry, I... Sean. Oh. Uh, <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you, Sean. So Long Tall Shorty has a poster of Dr. Giggles in his office right next to a poster of Demons. He sent Ooh. us a photo. There so go. there you go. It That's awesome. It occupies a wow. place of prominence. Love it. Action Dude says, uh. I'm anticipating a solid discussion from my freaky favorite pod people, Dr. Giggles seems like a social commentary on the torture of Americans endure at the hands of greedy pharma and tightwad health insurance companies. I hope you liked that look into Sean's psyche during this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ed Snyder. It's the 90s, so of course it's not going to be quite that message, but there is a message. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Don't do drugs. Uh, wear a condom. Do drugs. And don't, don't wear a condom. Don't sin is basically this movie's yeah. message. Yeah. Do drugs. Wear a condom. Sin in the right way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do, do drugs, but then drive home. <laughs> Ed, <laughs> yeah. Ed Snyder writes in and says, yes, about us covering Dr. Gills. Oh, nice. We just covered this on our podcast, the Film Effect, Effect Podcast, recently for its anniversary. Nice. And I had a blast rewatching, and I'm so happy it's finally getting a proper Blu-ray release through Scream Factory yep. next month. The comedy bits really hit, and the makeup effects were great, not to mention Larry Drake is incredible in the titular <laughs> role. <laughs> I like his giggle. Uh, the official Abibus representative oh. says <laughs> Abibus. Dr. Giggles is a huge guilty pleasure, but a fun and gory flick. I especially like the creative use of doctor tools for murders and the cheesy one liners. Yeah. It's one of the last pre scream slasher movies with a villain who'd quip after every kill. And I think it's notable for that alone. After every kill, before every kill, during every kill, uh, every he time was, he's on screen. He, right. Yep. Yeah. Looking at you. Yep. It was. Yes. All so when was Wishmaster? Because when we said Wishmaster that was, was later. Like, that was the one that wrapped it all up or something like that. It was later. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go listen to our Wishmaster episode. Yeah. Wishmaster was fun. Yeah. We said that was the end. Of the eighties, oh, like slasher, uh, right, yeah. fantasy slasher. Movies. That was like B horror movie Avengers too. Yeah, with all the yeah, people yeah, that were in it, it yeah. for yeah. a send off. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Asobi Detura says Dr. Giggles is an enjoyable romp with a great performance by Larry Drake. Uh, Adam yes. Kaler says it's a great pick, a perfect Friday night B movie comic book horror movie. If I remember, the stomach pump scene was pretty cringy, and looking through the keyholes yeah. ups my anxiety. I still have the comic books along with the pre movie virus and the mask in my collection. Uh. No medical insur- no medical insurance will cover. Dr. Giggles <laughs> calls. That, nope. that should be the tagline for the movie. Yeah. Uh, Pat Hetfield says this is the kind of movie you watch when you're desperate to see a horror movie, but this is the best you can do. A shame, really, because it had some cool parts like the body slicing its way out of a corpse, which I thought was really freaky, but rather doubtful in terms of whether it could actually happen, but well, still freaky and inventive. What? You don't believe a child, a 12-year-old child, could carve his way out of his mother's five, body? Five. five years. <laughs> that kid is not five. Five years old. <laughs> it doesn't feel like five in this movie, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Travis Legler says, I've always heard of this movie, but I have yet to see it. I enjoyed Larry Drake in the first two Dark Man movies, and I'm sure he would be a lot of fun in this. I'm excited to hear about the movie, knowing it will probably cause me to buy it, like so many others, <laughs> on the Freak Show. Um, Torso was last week's movie Torso. that we watched. Michael Whitaker says Jallo and slasher villains are one sci-fi gimmick away from Batman being a Batman villain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Close. They're really They're close. close. They're towing that line a lot. Because yeah, the Bat- Batman's like, yeah, he's basically in that. It's close. He's a horror world. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to say that uh, Colin was a little under the weather this past week after we watched Torso. And he gave the greatest delivery <laughs> yes. of the Torso trailer in the private, mm-hmm. in the uh, private yeah, group, group chat. chat. Oh, yeah. that's the right. Yeah. He had a voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had his voice was downgraded. It was, it was horse enough that it sounded horse enough yeah. for it. Yeah. It was perfect for any eighties uh, uh, exploitation movie. Yeah, because yeah, I was back beautiful. and listening to the episode, yeah. and I wasn't. I was getting raspier. You, you, yeah. Yeah. Right, it. the episode you were getting there. Yeah, you didn't like get the there until day. the group the chat. Day, yeah. You were just like yeah. torso. Yeah. It was torso. beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Uh, Brian Nielsen. Oh, okay. So on our torso episode, we were creating a shallow movie. <laughs> oh, we did. Geez. We did. We we figured it out. <laughs> yeah. We also uh, we didn't oh, figure out a name. Oh, your beef with uh, Ernesto Gastaldi. Yeah, yeah. Ernesto Gastaldi. We have a few, but we also were trying to figure out a name for a thing. I think we were close when we were just like. Like the something sounds of murder over the radio or, or yeah. uh, I well, think the internet radio. Brian Nielsen says that the title that we came up with, Death Listen to the Radio, isn't that unreasonable of a title. After all, there is a giallo called called Death Laid an Egg. <laughs> okay. All right. okay, well, I'm we interested close. now. So now I want the sounds of death over the internet radio. Felt the, well, red, the red screams of death over the radio. I or I think internet radio is what yeah. we need to call it because we call the internet radio super right. and whatnot. So I think the red sounds of de- uh, the color Ooh, sounds of death, death over the internet radio. Uh, death screams red at midnight. No, no. Well, death screams red over the internet radio. Mark Harrison says, "I think the title you're looking for is Death Screams on Radio Waves." It's something like that. Okay. Like we, that is. We're gonna keep working on. We it. are. We'll work we keep out, circling. But, yeah. but it yeah. is something like that. We'll find it. Okay. The week before Torso, we watched Torso. Halloween in. Oh, oh, wow. Still getting no bag with it. Kryptonian Orphan says at least Arnie. Oh, okay. So we were saying that it's basically a remake of Christine. Not basically. Yes. There's there's it there's is. elements. There's a lot are, of similarities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was but like, don't says, do that to Christine. He says at least Arnie had the common de- decency to be bullied by Buddy Repperton and Moochie Welch and not <laughs> yeah. a bunch of band geeks. <laughs> yeah, his bullies, the were, bullies like, were better. His bullies were like forty five year old men yeah, in that yeah. movie. Like <laughs> they were <laughs> Yeah, better bullies. Yeah, that's true. That's a very valid point. <laughs> um Travis Legler wrote in and said, Question When Corey goes to Allison and says, I killed someone, were they trying to play it as Corey opening up and talking to someone about the kid dying? Of course. Allison knew the public stories about him. But she was quiet because she felt like he was trying to open up to someone and didn't and, and just wanted to listen. It's poorly put together and represented on screen, but I wonder if that's the intent because I think we skipped over that in our review. We were just saying that he tells her I killed someone after he murders somebody and then Oh no, the no. She still it's vague on purpose. No, the the intent was because I mean, obviously that's where they go talking about the child that happened three years earlier that he ended up killing. So that's what he's talking about. But the execution is funny and laughable as we did in yeah. the show in the in the episode because 
he says that, and she's just accepting of it in her life. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's but I, I think he's being intentionally vague, though. Because yeah. no, he's, no, like, yeah, he's not correcting her kid. by saying, right. no, I killed another person. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's, a lot he's of, being intentionally vagueness deceitful. Vagueness all over the place yeah. in that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Nick Siebel says, um, <laughs> he says, first of all, I want to apologize. Oh. A little over a What'd year ago, do? I was highly critical of your assessment and breakdown of Halloween Kills. Although Kills was not a great movie i'm convinced that david gordon green absolutely hates the halloween fan base i saw halloween ends in theaters the night it came out and i walked out of the theater pissed off angry and felt violated that hollywood again does not get it it's absolute bullshit and it was a literal middle middle finger to michael myers fans we're going to destroy the iconic character in front of you and you're still going to pay to see it mm-hmm. that's a that's it right there that's that it. sentence we, we, no, is we, it right we there. understand yes. your reaction to that episode it was uh it was a polarizing movie you know yeah, a polarizing movie polarizing episode we had hard feelings about that mm-hmm. movie I'm um, just so I, proud of his progress. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we I feel like we did better with the Halloween Ends episode. We weren't as rageful. We had lost all hope at was, that point. Because Colin just oh, yeah, had, it's still there. Yeah, it was yeah, nothing yeah, that, yeah, that right. But I don't think we were as uh, cringy as we were in the previous episode. All right. Well, Jonathan Holt says, uh, LOL, what did we put you guys through? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like that. As a person who listened to the episode, it's like, oh, Jesus, what do we do yeah. to you guys? Well, he says, I appreciate that. I've heard you not recommend movies, but your energy in the wrap ups of this episode makes me feel like I should send you all an edible arrangement. Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, that episode we'll, was we'll also twice that. as long as our normal one. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, Talking to most of the people who didn't like that. Creepy Boris writes in and says, I enjoyed <laughs> Halloween Ends a lot more than Halloween Kills. Uh, I can, I, I can well. understand that. Creepy Boris. I Creepy. like the name. Mm-hmm. I like it. I know. Keep running in. Well, Stephen Helicopter writes in and says, <laughs> uh, God bless you for suffering through this dog shit for us. Well, I got to fuel up the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I like to imagine he was saying that as he's hanging from like a ladder dangling from the yep, helicopter yep, yep. and he just takes off into the sky like yeah. that. <laughs> Gotta feel the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Off to a yeah. LA sunset. Yes. 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 Love it. Well, same old circus production says I oh. pirated this movie to watch it oh. and I still want my money back. Yeah. Under- <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, you, your yeah. money you didn't spend. You broke the law for that movie. Yep. Yeah. And it wounded yeah. you. Yeah. 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 How do you feel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for writing Michaela. in. We appreciate it. Now okay. we're going to go wow. around the table about tonight's movie, which was Sean. What was it called? Dr. Giggles. Dr. Giggles. Yeah, it's your pick. <laughs> See, that's yeah. why I wanted to, because I know you're jumping, know. but yeah, I'm like, you don't remember I, what movie we watched. Yeah. I hate you for doing that. Okay. Uh, Michaela. He was right. <laughs> he was right. Uh-huh. I hate when people are right. Michaela, what did you think about tonight's movie, Dr. Giggles? Uh, well, I'd never seen it before, and yes. I, but I'd seen that art, and I feel like the artwork and the title kind of gives you everything you need to know about it. Like, it's there's, I, there's not a ton of there, surprises there is, here. There is nothing beyond, like, what you think when you see it. That's yeah, yeah, it, and and so like in that way, it kind of was pretty much what I expected it to be. Just it was goofy and stupid because I was like, a movie called Doctor Giggles is not going to be serious. But right. Larry Drake like was really good. I mean, he's good at this type of role, and I enjoy him in it. And he, you know, he just kind of he makes me uncomfortable. I don't like like looking at his <laughs> face. But um, you know, I I will never forget the scene of that kid crawling out of his mom and unzipping oh, her like a uh, sleeping yeah. bag. Didn't know that's, that was going to be in this and movie. And just realizing that's how he got out of the house. Yeah. How long was he in the body? Yeah, I, that's what I need to know. Ugh. Like, And it's just like, this movie takes some big swings and like, this is definitely R-rated, right? Because this is a violent movie oh, too. Yeah, like, I would hope so. Yeah, and but like the fact that it's doing stuff like that with kid actors, like that kid was up in a prosthetic and like mm-hmm. birthed out of it. It like, Oof, I I want to talk to the kid now. Yeah, but I'm just like I want the uh, interview years oof. later. Like, how do you feel about that? Have you had to go to therapy for this? Do you have to discuss this? With yeah, people? we don't do as tortured as right. Sean that, is about his mom's underwear. Right, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a, a, is this yeah. a similar experience you had? The, the and the condom scene was like one of the most horrifying things I've seen in like, any movie. Like, and that was just it, like they would cut away from it and then cut back and he's still fishing it out. It was crazy how many times we time. re- revisited the condom scene. Um, I'm gonna give it a light recommend because I feel like this movie sets its ex- tells you what to expect and it delivers on that and it's, it's a fun and it's a good watch but it might not be your flavor but I think you can, can judge that based on the title alone so I'm going to give it a light recommend Holly what do you think? Yeah I think I'm on the same page with you I, I really 
wasn't sure if I was going to recommend or not, because for me, it's not like a strong recommendation. If you don't catch this movie, I don't think you're missing out on a whole lot. But it is fun if you want to watch it. So I'm with you that I'm going with a light recommendation. Um, it's it, it's fun. It's silly. You know, um, so, during the movie, someone texts me like, "How's the movie going?" I was like, "Well, it's silly and it's a good fun time, I guess." And that's what it is. It's just like you get the gore. You get like there's cringiness. There's some cheesy jokes that you want from a doctor horror movie like this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with light recommendation because it's, it's a fun movie. I don't think you're going to miss anything by not watching it, but you could probably catch it for a good time. Yeah. Colin, what do you think? Well, okay. So I got a history with this movie. Oh. I, guess. <laughs> I'm, I love now it's that Colin's is the best session. preamble to a review ever. Yeah. Well, I mean, because I guess, you know, you kind of have to, it's like, I got to set you up for, okay, this is where I, where I came from. And this is where yes. I'm at now. Right, yes. And so I saw I Dr. History. Giggles in the theater. And um, How were you? Oh, okay. I was back <laughs> in my, you know, was, uh, you know, the early 20s or whatever, I was stoned. So I didn't remember anything about it. So yeah. then it came out on uh, videotape. Uh, and tape? I was oh, working in a video store. Well, and I watched it. And I uh, didn't remember anything about it. And then... Uh, recently, and again, thinking that probably 2016 is recent, you know, as that, we established yeah, earlier. Since, so within the time is a flat circle. Yeah, where, where, within, we've, where we've come from since then. Yes. yes. Uh, a period in my adulthood, I watched it again. I didn't remember anything about it. And so now, yeah, wow, this movie just leaves so now, your brain. I know, because yeah, that's why gone. you're sitting there going like, there's memorable stuff. And I'm like, eh, well, you know what I mean? Uh, I've seen this like Wait three, a year. This is my fourth time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, totally forgot about everything. I mean, like, the only thing I remember, I remember there's a Ferris wheel. And so like, oh, a lot of it's carnival. I remember Spooky House. And I remembered Larry Drake. I don't remember. And I remembered that he said, you know, Dr. Shit all through the movie. Um <laughs> So, I mean, he's, you know, it's like, I mean, I guess it's like, it's not a performance that's big enough to actually see the movie. To me, uh, you know, I guess when I saw it, maybe my dislike of it was just kind of like, I liked uh, slasher films. And this was like this, you know, the 90s was this horrible era where they were making these. It feels like they're making fun of it. Well, well, yeah, well, this one is, you know, I mean, like. But, I mean, they were even doing it. You look at Motel Hell, it's making fun of yes, you know, the kind of slasher true. movies like even back then or in the 80s when they were coming out. But the 90s were like giving you slasher movies that weren't really slasher movies. It's like, it's not really gory. Like the the gore, I mean, when I'm watching it tonight, I'm like, okay, that was actually one of the things I was like, you know, are there like kill scenes in this? Because mm, I think yeah. that does, and maybe um, I was, you know, programmed by watching movies with tom savini effects so <laughs> that's my bar then is like slasher movies have these like oh bar. my god that's amazing uh special effects it's also like very gory violent stuff that you remember from those movies and in the 90s they were like well we've kind of determined as a society that this is a bad thing and so <laughs> we still want to make slasher movies but they're like the diet version. We're going to take out all the sex and the nudity and basically all the reprehensible behavior. I love a diet and right horror movie. Yeah, this is the diet <laughs> horror movie. And you're like, well, so for me, when I saw it, I was like, this doesn't rate like at all. You know, I mean, and so now tonight, I'm like, okay, give it a fair shot. Fair shot. How does it stack up? You're looking at the movie and going, like, okay. You know, it's like, well, okay, they're doing okay with like the character stuff. Okay, I see what they're doing. They're going goofy. Uh, it's unbelievable, but that's like part of the tone. There's a lot of weird um, camera stuff that they're doing. Like you're inside a mouth as he's going, go ah, <laughs> right. Um, Love it. Oh yeah, with a giant mouth with a giant tongue depressor. Yeah, po- yeah, yeah. POV from inside the mouth. When they Love go it. into the house of mirrors, he walks over the camera. Like on a glass floor, Mm -hmm. they do a bunch of split screen effects. There's a bunch of distortion. There's a lot of Dutch angles. They're trying. So, yeah, they're trying to to stylistically like punch the movie up a little bit, but it wasn't like, I don't know. I guess uh, maybe I think it was Mikhail said Mm -hmm. during the movie, it's like it's stylistic, but it's stylistic in a way. It feels like these movies were during that period. Mm -hmm. So it's like all it does is really make it 
90s. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't go like Manny Cotto's a guy who's, you know, you gotta. Right. Um, there, was, and yeah. there was a moment when. Um, when he had her on the the surgery table in like in the clinic, not the hospital, and I was kind of surprised by the music. <laughs> I was like, "Wh,ow, this is pretty impressive music for." for oh, this that's movie. right, because we didn't say it's, yeah, um, it's Brian, Brian May. May. Okay, oh so, yeah, Brian May did the yeah. Okay, but, but, but oh that's not, not it's not Brian May from Queen. Oh! Why not? Okay. This is Why Brian not? May, the Australian composer. Okay. okay. So that he did. Then forget um, everything we said. He did. But like, no, every... I was still impressed by the well, music well, okay. in that scene. I'm well, because sure. I listened to the. Well, he did. Okay. So for, he did uh, Mad Max. He Road Warrior. He did oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Razorback. He did like okay. all the Australian like 80s horror and sci fi mm-hmm. movies. I think he did Road Games. He Then he did uh, Freddy's Dead, was I think one that he did um, yeah. in the 90s. And then I don't know if he's dead or he quit, but it, he didn't. I'm go not going to say anybody's dead. After, right. uh, I've learned Dr. my Giggles. lesson. Don't say I it. cannot <laughs> proclaim anyone's dead anymore. I thought the music when, when the movie started, it was like it's like okay, this is the horror movie score, but it was like he was much more energetic than the movie was. If that made any yeah. sense, it was like okay, yeah. cool your jets, Brian. Man. <laughs> <laughs> let's bring it. Let's mm-hmm. let's calm down a little bit. Yeah, you're, you're, like, you're trying to. <laughs> the rest you, of the movie was like no. Yeah, and so uh, that's what I thought he was doing, and every scene was like. He's like, well, it's kind of flat. Let me see what I can do to punch it up. And he was like working too hard. You know, <laughs> it was so, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't recommend the movie because it was like, you know, I've seen it several times and forgot it. And I watched it again tonight. And I understand that there is a popularity to the movie. So there's a lot of people out there who love it. I guess I, uh, I am curious about what it is or why so many people have such high regard for doctor i just don't get it to me it's like a vanilla movie it's not horrible you can watch it but i mean it like evaporates like a cotton candy movie you know it evaporates yeah. in your mouth as you're eating it yeah like um, i was saying like you're not missing anything by not watching it but also it's not terrible yeah yeah, yeah. it's got a cool poster yeah yeah mm-hmm. okay sean uh, <laughs> take us home I, no i think you're all right i think it is it is one of those movies just like you can watch it, and I think you get some out of it. If you don't, you won't be missing. Like your education won't be at odds if you don't watch this movie. Mm-hmm. But I had uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, every time uh, Larry Drake giggled in this movie, I giggled as well. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, watching this movie. I don't. I, I think Colin has seen uh, uh, far too much to this be able true. to be able to enjoy <laughs> a movie like this. I think. Um, in, in I loved Return of the Living Dead. That was a comedy well, horror movie. Right. Well, no, it's a great but, movie, yeah. But in my uh, maybe naivety, like having not experienced a bunch of this stuff, watching this tonight, uh, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed... I Maybe I just want a movie where Larry Drake comes in, uh, does a one-liner, and kills people. Because that's what this movie is. But I think it does it well. And I was entertained by it. Um, I like the kills. I like Larry Drake. I like Holly Marie Combs in this movie. I was very entertained by this. Um, you know, if every 10 minutes you can give me a giggle, uh, I'm all for it. I think this movie did it. Uh, yeah, I had, I had fun with this movie tonight. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I thought it was good. I'm going to recommend it. Uh, cause mm-hmm, I think, mm-hmm. you know, I think, I think you should watch it. It's good. I liked mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had a good time. That's okay. That's okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> so I recommend you watch Dr. Yields because uh I'm if you're like me, it's been on your list for a long time. Because it's Dr. Yields. You're aware of it. You're aware of it. I think you are. Uh and I think if you do watch it, if you are aware of it, you'll have a good time. Mm-hmm. So I recommend Dr. Eagles. I had a good time. Right. Bravo Larry nice. Drake. It was good stuff. <laughs> Three out of four? I yeah, think yeah. so. Three out of four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. There so that's Dr. Giggles on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Thanks for listening this far. Yes. Uh, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Holly, what are we going to watch next week? Um. Well, during my research for Ooh. the um, end of year episode, uh. I watched a little movie that I decided deserved its own episode. Uh. We are going to watch a movie called Significant Other. Ooh, mm-hmm. all right, good. But... <laughs> 
But you two need to be very careful what you look up about. Do not look up. No, I'm not, yeah. no, I won't. But look even, up but even the I IMDb. barely looked up anything for this movie. Okay, but but <laughs> so. you can't. But you can't even look at the IMDb no. because the character names are major spoilers. No, yeah. I, 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 have, I know. No. I've never even heard of. This. No, I know. It's I know perfect, of it. Yeah. I know of this movie. I have not looked up anything, yeah. okay. so I will keep yeah. it that way. But okay. yeah, don't right. even go but to the IMDb. But all right, all I know is Michael. No, we can say Michael Monroe. Yeah, she's in. Oh, she That's all I'm saying. Michael Monroe is on Paramount Plus. Yeah. Who we would talked about with the Watcher, yep. with yep. Watcher and everything. So, yep. and she has a a, a horror pedigree. Yeah. At this we'll get point, into it. Think. So, yep. <laughs> save it for next week, Sean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla, I'm trying to build up the episode, not giving anything away, but we have bona fides coming into this. So, stay tuned. All it's right. gonna be a good one. It's gonna it's be, gonna be a good week. one. I have, I'm I'm feeling good about this. All right. So significant other next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, the basement is going dark.